All right, so we're here at Righteous Guitars again. Today, we've got something uh, pretty special planned. Uh, and this was actually my friend Ben Calhoun's idea. Uh, we're gonna take, actually, Ben, do you wanna explain what we're doing today? So we're gonna take the least expensive Fender Stratocaster you can get, and we're going to tweak it, mod it, uh, do a bunch of work to it, and see if, how close to a custom shop product we get. Now, part of this process is we're actually gonna be keeping track of how much cost is involved with this. So we're going to start with the actual retail price of the guitar and we're going to keep track of all of the parts and the labor and see how close we get in terms of price so you can have a good idea of whether or not this sort of thing would make sense for you uh, in the long run. So this is the guitar. Here she is. Fender Player Stratocaster. So pretty basic. It's an HSS Strat. Um, again, this would be the least expensive actual Fender guitar you could get. Okay. There we go. So the player series is made in Mexico, correct? It is, yes. Okay, let's play it okay. without touching it. No setup, no nothing. Let's see how it feels. Sounds good. Well, initial thoughts, it plays pretty terribly <laughs> out of the box. The action is quite high. For me, this is this is very, very high. This is higher than I would set up a slide guitar. Yeah, it's very high. Uh, also, the saddles are not intonated. It's definitely not intonated. Frets, I don't know, what do you think about the fret ends? Um, so it looks like they were beveled, but there's definitely a lot of room for improvement there. The edge of the fretboard is also very Yeah, sharp. it's not rounded at all. Pickups are okay, they're not bad. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, I like the humbucker. And typically mm -hmm. I don't dig HSS strats, but mm -hmm. this one actually sounds pretty good. I will say, I think the action, being as it, as it sits right now, it's pretty difficult to play. Like, yeah. if I bought this guitar, especially if I was like a newer player or beginner, this is not easy or fun to play. No, and that's something to note too, if you are buying a guitar, Whoever you buy it from should set the guitar up. Rarely are they gonna come into the box, just great. So how much work do you think this will need in terms of an hourly rate, like shop rate for you guys? How much do you think this is gonna cost? We're gonna do some things that we don't normally get requests, like rounding over the fingerboard, not that big a deal, but we can do a breakdown, but parts and labor in the range of $800, $900 probably. Okay. It's a lot of work we're doing. Yeah. Um, but that would include all the parts as well. So we're starting with a guitar that's about 800, 850 bucks retail. 850, yeah. We're putting another 800 into it, mm -hmm. give or take. So we're around 1600, 1700 bucks yep. for a guitar that hopefully by the end will be within striking range of a custom shop equivalent. Which start around $3,700, something like that. Right. You know, okay. And there are factors that we can't control, like the weight. It's a little heavy. Yeah. It's a little heavy. And that's just the wood that they used. It's also know? poly instead of nitro. It is poly. So there are those few things that we really can't, you know, they're kind of variables we can't change. So now we're going to take the guitar in here, we're going to put it in pleck, and we're going to do a full level and crown on the guitar, uh, put a new nut on it, a new bone nut. When it's out of there, we're going to go through, dress all these frets out, dress the ends out really well, polish everything up, and then we'll go into final setup and we should be rocking. So what's it doing right now? Uh, right now we're just doing an entry scan, which will give us a roadmap of the guitar. Once we have a roadmap of the guitar, we can see what areas we can improve on. 
um, and how we can tweak it. It's, it's going to show us very quickly that the truss rod needs to be tightened. What's interesting is it's actually not faster than doing it by hand. A lot of people think that. It's actually not faster, but it does give you really good records and let you work in that really tight tolerance. This is a side view of the guitar. These are all your frets, okay? That's the 12th fret, so forth. The gray is the fingerboard, and right now we're looking underneath the G string. So if you were holding the guitar, it would look like that, right? There's all your little frets. That's the bridge saddles, and the nut is over here. So the red line is where it currently sits, and the green line is what our settings are for it to be optimal. Um, and what we're looking there is the string height and the nut slot height, and then traveling around here, that's the plane of the fretboard um, under the G string. So let's, let's scan through here. There's high E, some real janky stuff up there. Uh, B, G, D, A, and E. So by looking at this instantly, you can tell the truss rod needs to be tightened, which will bring that like this. Got it. And it'll make that a lot better. But it'll be a lot better after we, uh, after we cut. It'll be a lot nicer. Nice, okay. Um, and that's it. Cool. All right. Make this thing really good. Yeah. Not bad looking. Pretty clean. Yeah. Not too shabby. That's a little questionable. Not bad. And I'm going to drop it all out. It's got a super switch in it too, so I guess they're doing a coil tap right there. Oh yeah, you're right. We're going to do a different thing here. Completely different thing. <laughs> There we go. Old guts. Not bad. You know, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Looks like decent parts. Definitely seem yeah. worse. So we're going to put a pair of Lawlers. Uh, these are blackface. Staggered blackface. So the neck in the middle, they'll get the classic Strat sound. Um, with the stagger pickup, it's going to be that old school, not as balanced as a modern guitar, but vintagey sounding right. uh, type of thing. And then I really like Duncan makes a pickup called the Fifty Nine Trim Bucker. It's a really good sounding pickup, and I think that'll complement it. So you'll have your classic Strat, and then your rock and roll up front. And I think it'll be a nice set. All right. so there's the humbucker cap, and then we're going to have two different caps because this tone knob is going to be for the bridge. Uh, this tone I'll be for the neck in the middle. This will split the bridge, pick up, uh, but we'll add some resistors in too to help. So these are all 500K pots. Okay. We'll add resistance in so that we can make these 250K when you're on those pickups. Right, okay. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Trick wiring setup. Okay. All right, wiring's done. Yeah, pretty close. Just gonna do some grounding. That looks really good. It's fun, you know? Everything's green, so yeah, there's that. Yeah, so whoever <laughs> ends up having to work on this in the future, yep. you know. You did them a great service. So we have a push-push pod over here, and that's going to tap the humbucker. I still have to add some resistors on there, but that's going to tap that. I have to add some resistors up here to modify the taper a little bit yep. for the resistance. Uh, but you've got your cap for your humbucker, uh, which will sound great, and then you've got a cap for your single coils. They need a little more of that roll-off. Right. Um, so you'll have tone for bridge, tone for middle and neck, volume, um, and then again the tap. It should sound really good. June of 2022. Nice. New, new. All right, so those fret ends, we'll play with that first. These uh, edges, how they're just really beveled and not, not rounded at all. Right. So we're gonna take care of that. Make it feel a little bit nicer. So this is something that ideally, if you're buying a custom shop guitar, this is what they're doing from factory. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot nicer fret work uh, typically. Well, almost every time. You're going to have a lot nicer fret work and attention to small things like this that you can always do it after the fact, but it is nice. Just it doesn't take much work to really get them feeling great, you know? Right. It's just the way it works. Just starting it. But you can see like there's a little roundness to it instead right. of that. Right. So even feeling that and feel that. Oh, yeah. And we're going to make it nice, of course, but, you know, it doesn't take much to really improve that. So the edge of the fingerboard is very sharp, yeah. um, which can, just doesn't feel great in your hand. So we're gonna roll the edges. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than, than I have before, just because it's fun. So we're gonna go through and I'm actually gonna do it by hand like this with a little razor. Yeah, 
And this is simulating essentially what happens with a vintage guitar, right? The more you play a guitar, naturally your hands are gonna wear, gonna wear the fingerboard yeah. edges. Um, and this is actually a big reason why I like a relic guitar. When a guitar is aged, it's not just an aesthetic thing. It feels old, it feels more broken in. And a big part of that is the rolled fingerboard edges. It's way more comfortable to play. This is just roughed in, right? but feel right there and then feel right there. Oh yeah, night See, and day. And we'll take it further than that. Right. Um, but that'll make it where you play it and it's comfortable. Right. Because that feels okay. That does not. Right. Like that, I can, you can actually see my finger like catching it. Yeah. It doesn't over here. So that'll be great. So we'll finish the neck doing that. Um, then we're going to go to the back and we're actually going to, it's already kind of a satin neck, but what we're going to do is uh, basically hit it with a 3M pad and okay. then we're going to put some pure carnauba wax on it, let okay. it dry, wipe it off, and it'll just make it feel slicker than this. Right. It'll feel good. Nice. Okay, so old nut. This is what we'll replace it with. So I don't know what this is, Corian or something, but. All right, so it's about a week and a half later. It is. Okay, yeah. guitar's done. Okay, okay. Your guitar is done, indeed. Now we should point out that we are giving this guitar away. Yes. Yeah. So somebody will get to experience this in their hands. So for more information on the giveaway, Righteous is hosting the giveaway. I'll have a link in the description box down below where you can sign up and do all that stuff. So take a look at the guitar. Absolutely. All right, cool. So yeah, we did a lot of stuff to it. <laughs> Looks a little different. Yeah, a little bit. So I love um, the mint guard. That was a yeah, nice choice. it's just a better choice. So everything that could be replaced uh, besides the bridge, tuning machines, I guess the string tree, uh, and the back plate, neck plate. Right. Everything else has been replaced. It's expensive though. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, let's go play it first and then we'll talk about costs. Yeah, all right. Yeah. easier to play. Yeah, I agree. I think I sound better on it right now. I feel like I, I sound better on it. I think so. Um, I feel way more confident playing it and it's all this right here. Yeah, that's the biggest impact is the feel. I mean, it sounds considerably better too. Yeah. But being comfortable is the most important part it's of it. It's so much more comfortable. It's so subtle, but when the, the edge of the fretboard is not digging into your hand, yeah. when the frets feel smooth and not yeah. gritty and grindy. Mm -hmm. um, it's the action is so much more approachable. Yeah. It plays in tune better. Yeah. It's intonated well and it's intonated well throughout the neck. Like it plays everywhere. Everywhere is, sounds good. Doesn't have any dead spots. Uh, it doesn't fret out when you bend. Right. Um, and that's not even considering the pickups. I mean, obviously the pickups are a step up. In terms of, I think, just the sound of the guitar, the most bang for your buck upgrade you can do agreed. are pickups. But yeah. this, rolling your fingerboard edges and rolling the fret ends, rounding the fret ends. That's what separates. I've always said, like, fret work, nut work, that's what separates the okay guitars from the really great ones. So how much did this cost to do? 
Okay, so the, well, the initial guitar was $850. At the end, uh, it's just over $1,900 worth of work, including the guitar. Oh, and so yeah. we're, we're in this as this guitar sits right now for right under two grand? Nineteen nineteen. Okay, and so <laughs> off the top of your head, to get sort of an equivalent custom shop guitar, where does that start? I mean, it's going to be close to four, more than likely. Right, so and then you're getting up there. Now we get into the question of value, because putting $300 worth of pickups in the guitar doesn't increase its value by $300. If at all. If at all. If at all. And yeah, if I you can, were going to sell hurt. it, you're, you're better off pulling the pickups out, selling them separately, putting the stock stuff back That's in. how you could get a little bit ahead, is yeah. by doing just that. So at the end of the day, this guitar plays great. The things that I would take away from this are a guitar of any value. It's worth, I think, doing the work on the neck here. Rolling the fingerboard edges if they're not rolled already, addressing the fret ends, doing a really great fret job and a really great setup does wonders for any and, guitar. And the nut end too. Yeah, and the nut. I mean, that's yeah. that's one thing I always do is I put a bone nut on. If, if a guitar doesn't come with a bone nut, I always do the bone nut. I'm, all, I'm with you on that. So at the end of the day, this is a killer guitar mm -hmm. that I would never spend the money. Yeah, <laughs> I would never do this. Well, think about it this way too, though. Let's say I buy this guitar for 850 and I'm a gigging musician, you know. So I bought the guitar for 850 and a couple months later, I've saved up a bit and I can afford to go ahead and get a bone nut put on it. A couple months later, I've saved up a little more and I can afford to do a good leveling crown on it and, you know, tweak the fret ends. So that's where I think these become much more valid, mm -hmm. is you can work your way through it instead of an initial drop of two grand. Mm -hmm. it could, you could get there over two years and end right. up having a killer guitar that you keep forever that's been upgraded uh, in bite-sized increments. Yeah. Swallowing it all at once is, is kind of insanity. You know? Right. But, and again, like this is for the video, you know, we did this with the cheapest vendor to see if you could custom shop one. And I think the answer is no. I don't think you can. I don't think you can get a guitar like this to custom shop level because polyurethane finish, the neck doesn't feel as good. The It just yeah. doesn't feel like a custom shop quality instrument. There are things in the custom shop that you just won't get, that you, you're not gonna get. Um, yeah. Like, you know, the weight of the guitar, it's a little heavy. Mm -hmm. Now granted, you're gonna pay money, it's to sort for lightweight costs money in right. a custom shop. It's a lot more money, but you do get a lot more for what you pay. And the guitar is gonna hold its value. It'll hold its value quite a bit better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you custom shop a Mexican Strat? No. But you can make a really, really great guitar uh, with with some work. You can win this guitar. We're doing a giveaway. It's US only uh, But it will show up shipping and everything uh, is handled righteous is doing the giveaway So I'll have that linked down in the description box below uh, Thanks to Ben. Thanks to righteous once again for taking the time to do this and uh, Yeah, it was a lot of fun